I'm Dee. I'm Kelly. And we are Sisters, Sisters of Stitchcraft. Woo! That was a good one. <laughs> Finally. Woken up on a high. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. Guess what we're talking about today? <laughs> Sleepwear. <laughs> PJs. Uh, I don't do PJs, but Kelly does PJs. All the time. I, I don't I do wear robes. clothes at home. I tend to wear PJs. <laughs> I do robes. Yes, robes, beautiful robes. I do do dressing gowns on top of my PJs. <laughs> I do have PJs underneath this. I'll talk about those in a moment. Yeah. So, Kelly, do you want me to tell? Do you want to tell us about the PJs you're wearing today? So the ones I'm wearing today, we will insert pictures as we go along. Absolutely. Um, shocking. I know. Tilly in the buttons. <laughs> Mario. No. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Tilly Superfan, my too. Um, if you're watching, yes, so I've got the Margot PJs in the fabric. Both lots of fabric is from Pound Fabrics. Um, the top is a Spring in London, so that's <sighs> Seasons oh. of East. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about how many you made. I've made a few. Yes, but I made this one as a pajama top. I love this fabric. Yeah, I, do you know why? It's lovely. Beautiful. I think it was eight pound. £8.50 a metre, mm -hmm. but I got this top in the largest size, which I think was the size 20, UK 20, I think, um, and I managed to get that out of a metre. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. I mean, well I didn't done. have any fabric left over, <laughs> yeah, but that's I literally good. just that's made it... so as, sustainable, that's fantastic, love that. Made it as big as I could, yeah. basically, because I like a baggy top, especially for PJs. Oh, God, PJs, definitely. I mean, yeah. in general, yeah. but for PJs, without yeah, a doubt. Definitely for PJs. Um, so absolutely loving these. Um, the PJs, I didn't hem because I had a nice salvage. Oh. <laughs> Um, so I didn't hem them. See if we can get close to the phone in a minute. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and I, um, I added an, two inches to the length of the trousers, but I've now taken the waistband up by about two inches. <laughs> <laughs> so I probably didn't need to add any of the length because I didn't hem them. If I'd have hemmed them, I probably would have needed right. that extra length. Okay. Um, yeah. So when you did the extra length, did you do that where it tells you to adjust it? Or did you just add it on the bottom? Just add your answer. Just added it on the bottom. Yeah. That's what I tend to do, but I just wanted to check. Yeah. So, tops especially, I don't tend to add where it says to, because I've got quite a short body. Mm -hmm. So I still want the waist to be at the same place. So I tend to add that at the bottom. Yeah. But quite often with the trousers, I add it where they tell me to. Yeah, because it will affect the way they fall. Yeah, but I don't know that they, I did got with shaped these. Them. I'll have to have a look at my pattern pieces and double check that. So originally <laughs> I did a drawstring. <laughs> originally I did a drawstring, um, but I found that that because I used some like lace, it didn't really hold it in place. It kept coming, it kept coming loose, get, getting right. loose and falling down a bit. So today, before I came here today, I quickly just turned it up by an inch, so it was two inches shorter at the waist and added elastic so they're so much more comfortable like this mm -hmm. and they fit better as well so i think i probably should have sized down right okay um i can't remember what size i did but they but still look great the notes. so but i love them yeah absolutely, absolutely love them i love the fabric uh pound fabrics i think i said fabric, yeah. absolutely love it i would definitely buy it again yeah i can't see more. on the video but the fabrics for the the fabric for the trousers is different to the fabric for the top just so you know yes yeah, so you'll brushed, see that in the picture brushed cotton but there will be a picture and in the catwalk. <laughs> you know the catwalk. <laughs> We've done the catwalk. Yes, yeah, so that's my PJs. So the first thing I want to talk about is this robe. So this robe is a future free tutorial on Instagram from Merrily Boniface. Um, super, really easy, pretty much zero waste too. So all squares. So yeah, everything's like squares. So that's super. The fabric is from um, So Hayley Jane, apart from the edging, which was just think something in my stash at the time but it went really really well mm. and to go with it you can't see <laughs> but I made some little tilly in the buttons, tilly in the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, slipper boots which are so really cute. cute and they match really lovely with it so yeah that's lovely that fabric as well I'm only used to seeing it hung up on your 
form. Yeah, I tend to keep, <laughs> so the story with that is I tend to keep this one in the sewing room because as anybody knows, when you're, you're sewing garments, you like to keep trying things on and off. So rather than having to keep go upstairs and stuff like that, I just keep it in. And then quite often, if I'm trying something on and it needs an adjustment, I'll just put this on. So this is like my sewing robe. <laughs> That explains it. It's just always on a desk form, and I just oh. yeah, it's always there because that's why I use it. So I use it quite a lot in my sewing room when I'm trying stuff on and off. It's just easier than taking it's like it off, a, put your clothes on, take like a needle your cord, on. isn't it? It's, it is like a needle cord. Yeah, it's really really lovely. It's so vibrant. Um, yeah, really love it. It's gorgeous. So that's my first one. So yeah. what else have you got? Have you got um, so I've only made two pairs of pajamas, but I will be making lots more. <laughs> Um, so this pair, which will be in the, in a picture, <laughs> somewhere, of course. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so this was so Hayley Jane fabric, which uh, to be honest, when I got it, it's probably the most underwhelming one I've had in terms of fabric colour and choice. Yeah. But fantastic for pyjamas. I wasn't sure what I would make with it. You know, I can't imagine wearing anything out with this fabric, sort of like a dress. Or, yeah, I get that. Um but for PJs, absolutely wear. perfect for yeah. lounging around in. And, and like I say, I wear pyjamas all the time. The cuffing came from Pound Fabrics. Excellent. Um, and I bought nice this fabric pick. because I plan to make PJs. Super. Uh, put a... Oh, yeah. So I've got a label on there. That is from Paige Joanna. Oh, yeah. That's her name. She did a... Um... What's that thing where they raise money? to be able to do so I can't remember what it's called she did like a, a thing where you pre-ordered it basically and paid for it in advance so that she had the cash oh yeah I know to be mean. able to to make the labels so I got all of them and that was a me made one which I love and the label on this and I put them on the front because no one sees it there yeah and I think it's quite cute to I do want that. to show it so yeah. on this one, especially on loungewear, see if I can get up and um, <laughs> show you that. Oh, it's back to front, is it? Oh, so it says, "Be strong, be happy, be you," and that is from Little Rosy Cheeks, I believe. Oh. And I bought those for for my granddaughter's clothes because I thought, "Oh, that's yeah, a lovely that's message, so isn't it?" Not that she can read yet. Um, no, she can read. <laughs> <laughs> one day, Just hopefully, saying. though, she'll be able to. Um, so, but I decided they went really well with these pajamas, so yeah, I stole absolutely. them. <laughs> so I might buy one. some more of those when yeah, we go to the Stitch absolutely. Festival. Absolutely, no, it looks fab. Um, and so again, Miss Tilly in the Buttons should mention, <laughs> and Juno you know PJs. <laughs> now I added two inches, I think it was, to the length of the body because I, I like to cover my backside. Um, and I added, I think I added an inch or two inches to the arms, which I didn't really need to do. But you know, I like really long yeah. orangutan arms. I was going to say, heading back into that orangutan phase. <laughs> Luckily, it's got the coughing coat, so it keeps them off. But yeah, I probably didn't need to add two inches. An inch probably would have been fine. And in fact, with the coughing, it probably didn't need any, really. I added two inches to the length, two inches to the length of the trousers. I think I would probably add another inch to the trousers. Or make the coughing deeper. They're fine, they fit down to my ankles, but I think I'd like them just slightly longer. But yeah, so that's my PJs. So my PJs, I'm going to strip off now. <laughs> X-rated, <laughs> little alert, got any humans around that are little, get them out of the room. It's okay, I've got my PJs on. No worries, I'll have a little stand up and a little sit down, there we go. There will be photos. <laughs> so these aren't Cute. actually pjs uh the bottoms i believe are pjs they're so over at london the bottoms i made it was my first garment i ever made um in 2021 october 2021 um and yeah it was from the sew over it i think it's from their tutorial guide i can't remember now um and the fabric was from fabrics galore so um and then i made the top a few days later which is again the sew over it silk cami um, which I've made actually quite a few times. I've made it to wear out, so it's not actually a pyjama top as such, but I like cami tops for pyjamas. Um, and then I use, for the facing, I use the same material as the bottoms, bottoms and also made the little bow. It's very cute little bow, it's a nice <laughs> And the little, the little silk, uh, the little ribbon there matches the ribbon on the 
um, on the drawstring. All the details. So, yeah. All the so details. were they free patterns so, then? I don't think they were. They were for me because I was on, you pay £15 a month subscription for the tutorial oh, thing. you did that. And then you get patterns on there. And I did it because I started off with like the cushions and things like that. I think I did cushions and a headband for Kirsten or something. I can't remember. Um, yeah, so I think, I can't remember back that far, but I think it was free for me because I had that. So it wasn't yeah. actually free, but if you subscribe, yeah. I don't do it anymore because obviously I need lots of patterns now, but I've started off using a lot of their patterns through that way because it's quite a good okay. way to learn because yeah. you get the tutorial. They and still the do a club thing that yeah, you can pay monthly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, definitely recommend it, especially when people are starting out. So, mm. um, And the other little tip, well, not tip, the other little thing about this is, so I did actually win a prize from Fabrics Galore because, <laughs> the leftover fabric and I'll put a picture up of the two together the leftover fabric from the shorts which was obviously the facing and the bow um, what I had left I used to um, line a jeans bag that I made with an old pair of jeans um, and yeah won a voucher for £50 from them so with that anybody that follows my Instagram I use that to buy my um, fabric that I did my Day of the Dead dress in which is just the most amazing um so yeah if you haven't seen it have a look at my instagram to find it out but yes that's a good so i was really pleased because it won me a prize too <laughs> we love a prize don't we but also that yeah. dress was fabulous and with the leftovers with some scraps scraps from that you lined my bag that you made me as well oh it was your bag was i lined bag. oh yes, you yes. Knew I loved the sorry so much. oh you should have had some of the prize then <laughs> <laughs> i know you've got the bag no. you've got no, the bag no, no, no. <laughs> The skull fabric. That you oh, run sorry, from the from fabric. Oh, yes. Right, it's my bag I lined with this one. Yeah. And then yours you, I lined with the left the one that you won. Yeah. The fabric that you won. Right, got did it. Did your now. day of the dead death yeah. dress. Yeah. It's yeah. a bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> it certainly is. Try saying it in so. the Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> So did you have anything else in the pyjama line to show us, Kelly? Wow. Look at this. You just want to hug this, don't you? <laughs> this, do is, this, wear is literally, this a lot. You can tell it's called a fair. teddy bear fabric, can't you? Yeah, <laughs> so I had an old teddy bear fleecy duvet cover. Um, that to be honest had been out in the porch for me to take to the charity <laughs> shop for about a year and a half now. <laughs> just haven't got round to doing it. And I thought, oh, do you know what? I could use that, and so I made a Tilly in the Buttons. <laughs> still a hoodie! And do you know what? I, I absolutely I love it. I wear mm. it over my pyjamas all the time. It's a bit grubby, actually. It needed a wash, but I didn't wash it before I this came. This is in the book, off. isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, all of these patterns were in the books. So this, this, one this and the Juno, I think, are both in the stretch I book. think so, because I think I've seen them. And the Margot, it's in the, I think, Make It Simple. Right, okay. We will... Tag, I'll tag I'm them sure down below. Stella is in the stretch because I really want to make one. Stella and the Junos, and got that one. both are mm. thinking the stretch. I'm not sure about the Junos. Juno might not be actually. No, I've got all no, three no. I think books. you say that every time. Every time, because I'm <laughs> sure that they must And then be. I go and look and get, no, it's not here. So, the, I've got three books. I've got the stretch, Make It Simple, and the third book. I can't remember what it's called. So, yeah, I'll tag it down below. <laughs> Um, so Juno's in one, Margot Bottoms are in the other book, and this is in the stretch book. That actually book. matches my top really nicely. Oh, it does. <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was great, and I love wearing it, and I even did buttonholes well, to put a drawstring. Well, let's be honest, Kelly, if anybody's been watching our recent vlogs, they will have seen that Kelly loves wearing it, because I think she's wearing it in nearly every one. <laughs> and the Zoom calls. <laughs> in the Juno pyjamas, my time. Because when I'm at home, I literally don't wear clothes. Unless I'm going out, I wear pyjamas and dressing gowns and that's it. So you will find that on most of our Zoom calls, I won't have clothes on as such. Oh, she <laughs> have, she'll she'll have, have garments, garments on. Yeah. <laughs> not, out, no, not out to wear, she means. But that, was, that was a great make and actually really easy, really easy make. I didn't, um, I used the bottom of the thing as the hem, so I didn't have to hem them. And for the sleeves, I've used... Anyway, um, really, would you? bias bind it, it kind of frays oh, it does. so you get mm -hmm. bits of fluff everywhere yeah so yeah it would so have needed to hem it up, but i would have just bias yeah. bound it anyway which is what i've done with the sleeves is that a stretch bias or just a normal one that's just a normal one yeah. i used to stretch one on this yeah i must admit i haven't on my spring in london mm -hmm. I and i think done. in future i will use the stretch one on the spring in london i think it's much i think it'll be much better mine's I, too hard i think i've made it a little bit what I didn't do was stretch the bias bind into the top and I think I should have right. stretched it slightly yeah. as I was sewing it. Yeah. Um, and I think that would have made it less bumpy. 
Yeah. Because it's a little bit bumpy. But it still looks fine. But I'd never yeah. used stretch bias tape before. Yeah, no, I've not used um, it. I've bought some, but I haven't used it yet. So. But, and again, from I got mm. this from Pound Fabrics, and I've used that on on this, on the sleeves and on the, mm. the neck. Mm. So I didn't have to use it on these because this was all, I had the cuff in. Yeah. Which again was from Pound Fabrics. Things, yeah. Oh, it was just so, so easy. easy. And they just... What I love about Tilly and the Buttons, and I do, yeah. I am a super fan of Tilly's. Tilly's. Fan. I love it. <laughs> I love Tilly and the Buttons. Because they're so beginner friendly yeah. and they're so simple and she explains everything step by step. And I'm not very good at patterns. I'd rather watch a tutorial on YouTube or wherever. But with Tilly's Buttons, I can read them. And most of the time I, I understand what she's telling me yeah. she wants me to do. It might take twice to read it if it's a more difficult thing. Um... But yeah, my well, first I, dress pattern was the Stevie dress with Tilly for exactly that reason, and that was super easy to follow. And I've made loads of those. Yeah. So simple, so quick, yeah. so easy. Most of it you can do on the overlocker. She gives you overlocker and sewing machine instructions. So if you haven't got an overlocker, it's not an issue. You can still make the clothes. Love Tilly. <laughs> Love Tilly's patterns. You know. Love everything about you know. it. Can't wait to make well, new trousers. Well, can I give Merrily a little bit more love then? Yes, because those <laughs> are great. I'm going to have to get that, that pattern. So my final garment I'm going to share with you. Actually, I'm really proud of this one. Um, so I did, again, I did the Merrily free tutorial. Um, I did pockets this time though, and little loops for the um, belt. belt. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I took it a little, little step further. But um, it's this one here, which again, you'll see in the catwalk. And the reason I'm really proud of this is because every year I go away with some friends and um, we have a fondue weekend. And it's just us in a cabin with lots of cheese and lots of wine and it's absolutely fabulous. Um, we do it once a year um, and we always take a little gift. So last year I decided to make everybody a robe like this. And if you can see, it's got my initials on it. And I did it for everybody in their own <laughs> initials. Excuse Bless me, you, so sorry. <laughs> feel it coming on <laughs> so i made everybody one in the um it, with their initials on it so they were personalized yeah. um and they're fabulous and i love them and it's really cozy the fabric is from um custom fabrics uk it used to be flamingo fabrics um and they have lots of personalized stuff that they do so that's really really good and i think it's a loop back yeah it's like a loop back jersey i think oh, do you? yeah it is uh french terry i think french terry, yeah. yeah sorry french terry um and I have got a little video of us all in them, which I won't put on here, but I will put it as a short because <laughs> it's quite a cute little video to watch um, that we did when we were away. And then what I did just to tie in as I got some ribbon and just made a, the belt for this with the gold so it matches to the little gold crayons on there to make it a little bit different. Yeah, so, it's yeah. such a beautiful gift day. It was <clears> lovely <throat> to see you all four wearing them. Yeah. And um, yeah, so, and it was, um, like I say, free pattern, so fabulous. Can't beat a free pattern. No. Unless it's Tilly. <laughs> <laughs> I love Tilly it. too, but not quite as much as Kelly loves Tilly. <laughs> you know, for me as well, it's the fact that I've got the three <clears throat> books, so I need to use them. You know, when you spend money on things, when you first start sewing, you buy all these things that you think you should buy. And I bought all three of Tilly's <laughs> books. And then I didn't make anything until recently, until I started making... What did I make, actually? Oh, the Freya. When I started making yeah. the Freya, it was probably the first thing I made. Um, well, that worked because I then bought the book to make a Freya. <laughs> See, Tilly? I'm super fan. Um, so, yeah, Spreading the so, Tilly but, love. But you should use what you buy, shouldn't you? So I'm trying Absolutely, to use yeah. the patterns in the books. And I do have some <clears throat> extra patterns of Tilly's that I bought as well. Yeah. <laughs> and some you've got in your So Hayley Jane books. I know. <laughs> I can't wait to make those trousers. So, mm, the anyway. Thea. Mm. <laughs> So I think That's it's it. time to go back to bed. Do you know what? I'm worn out all that talking about pajamas. <laughs> it's exhausting this vlogging yeah, thing. It's my you hot know? water bottle. Yeah. Right. So anyway, guys, thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed our little chat about our sleepwear. Yes. And uh, yes, we'll leave you with the uh, catwalk whilst we go back to sleep. Happy so, sewing and sweet happy sewing, sewing dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Good night. Mm. Mm. Oh. Tell me what it takes to get your feelings.